All right, before we even start this video, I just want to say, I know a lot of the big YouTubers have released similar videos talking at it. They coming from a whole different aspect. I suggest you go check out their videos because they're going to give you a lot more technical insight. But this is Bang. You know I'm all about that budget over here. So I'm talking about it from a whole different perspective. Plus, I'm sexier. I got a better beard than all of them. So let's get to this footage. Maybe she'll fall in love. What's good, folks? It's your boy Dookie back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews to help you get the best Bang for your tech dollars. Man, I'm feeling real good today, man. I got. I want to talk to y'all real quick about something that means a lot to me, and that's Intel versus AMD. Now I know, I know the comment section. My my comment section probably won't be that fire. Even though I appreciate everybody who leaves me a message, stops in to say hello, ask a question, even the haters, man, y'all, all y'all do, you know, y'all make me laugh. So it's all, it's all good. I know usually when you bring up something like AMD, Intel, what, PlayStation versus Xbox versus PC gaming or anything like that that's got a really strong fan base, I know that the, uh, the, what the, what the fanboys will be live in the comments. But what I wanted to talk to you about today was the new enthusiast line of chips coming from both AMD and Intel and what uh, and what you as a budget gamer might think about them. You know, will it be something that you're even interested in? Will you need this kind of power? Do you have the money? Cause I'm gonna be honest, before we go any further, I ain't got $2,000 for a CPU just for once, nah. It ain't going to happen, but we can still talk about it and see what's really good. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the AMD Threadripper line of processors versus the Intel Core i9 processors, man. It's going to be crazy. Yo, I can't even get it out. There's so much good stuff coming. So let's start with the Intel Core i9 processors. We're going to have, I got my notes up here, so, you know, bear with me. Okay, on your Core i9, we're going to have chips starting from 10 cores and 20 threads all the way up to the behemoth 18 core, 36 thread CPU. Are you serious? What are you doing with all that power? Well, when you have it, you can do whatever you want. That's pretty much all it is. Then we have the AMD Threadripper line of chips, and we're going to have up from a... 10 core 20 thread CPU all the way up to a 16 core 32 thread CPU. So it's gonna have two less cores and four less threads. It should still be crazy. It should still be more power than most people will ever need. You know what I'm saying? So let's just start off with the fact that we have pricing for the Intel chips. They're gonna be starting, their i9 chips will be starting at 99. Can't even say it right. Their i9 chip, the lowest base will be starting at 1000 even or $999 all the way up to $1999 for the Core i9-7980XE, which is the 18 core 36 thread chip. It's crazy. 2000 that's why I said 2000 off the bat. Ridiculous. Now we don't have pricing for the AMD stuff just yet, but there was a rumor that dropped that said the 16 core 32 thread chip will be debuting at 849 which whew, we'll get back to that later as <laughs> you know how I, you already come on you already know how i feel you know let's start off with the important factors here i think we're gonna have to go in how these will appeal to the gaming market and what people are looking for now, if you're going to go with the marketing, you got to think about how the marketing play is going to be up here. And I'm going to tell you off the bat, Intel is going to win based off of speed and power alone. Plain and simple, they're going to be able to say, we have the fastest chip for the enthusiast consumer market. Not a Xeon, not any, not any server grade stuff, just for the enthusiast consumers. This is the fastest chip that you can get. They got two more cores and it looks like they're gonna be, their base clock is gonna be a little bit higher. It hasn't debuted already, but I've seen some uh, tests that had it up at 5.1, you know, gigahertz, that's crazy. If you could overclock 18 cores and 36 threads to 5.1 gigahertz, 
That's nuts. <laughs> Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Now we have the AMD 1998X. 1998 was a great year for your boy. Uh, well, I graduated high school back then. I'm dating myself, but that was a good year. And that's going to be a 16 core, 32 thread chip. And that base and boost clock speeds, the base and boost clock speeds were 3.5 to 3.9 gigahertz. And I'm sure you'll be able to overclock it even further. Now, like I said, off of speed alone, speed and power, Intel is killing it. Now, where does this come in for you? Now, what happens is when people talk about these chips, they're only talking about the top of the line high end. You Sorry suck. About that. They're only talking about the top of the line high end chips. That's where the marketing is going to focus us at. But let's do something, man. Let's think about this a little bit. For our budget gamers, if you put together a Ryzen system, if you put together an Intel i7 system with the uh, uh, 77, uh, 7700K, you know, and that's not budget per se, but you're not spending, you know, upwards of $1,000 just on your CPU alone. What I see right here is Ryzen came out and forced Intel to have to really look at how they're doing it. Now, I think they still got brand loyalty. I think they still have the major share of the market, but it seems like they're being waking up a little bit. Like they were just chilling on top, just, you know, relaxing, hanging back. And it's like, you know, I see what those guys down there are doing. You know, we're not going to give in yet. We're not going to let them come and take our food just yet. But they are making some noise down there. So that forced some of their chips to be a little bit lower. Like right here, you have the Core i7 7820X. This is a eight core 16 thread chip, which is similar to the i7 5960X Haswell E eight core uh, chip that was at $1,000. That's crazy. So if you're coming in getting that type of performance and right now they have it for $599 coming out, I think that is where people start to win. Like it's not at the top chips because the top chips, like it's kind of like big baller brand. If you too broke to afford it, then it's not for you. That's exactly what the top level chips are. If you don't, if you can't afford to have a two thousand dollar CPU, five to six hundred dollar motherboard with two Titan X's in a three hundred dollar all glass case, then it's not for you, baby. Like. You know, it's cool to think about and look at, but it's not for you. You know, my bad. I'm getting notifications. Shout out to the homie Alpha Rakama of the Polytex crew. Shout out to the whole Polytex crew. Alpha, Mikel, Keith, Steel, Trey, Cameron, everybody up in the fan base, uh, fan group too. I'm going to leave a link down below. If you use Telegram, you come holla at us up on Telegram, man. We'll be in there talking about all, just going at it, talking about stuff all day. New tech, sports uh phones video games it really is a cool place to come hang out so make sure y'all check the link down below but like i was saying to get a chip like that an eight core 16 thread chip for 5.99 from intel is crazy now the ryzen the amd ryzen 1800x what is an eight core 16 thread chip has already had a price drop from 499 to 457. So you gotta look, man. The market is really shaking up to provide some good stuff, man. I think I think this is a great time to look at putting together a system. Now, I have an Intel system. The system I'm recording this on is my old Intel i7 4770K. Um, it's an amazing what I have in here. Uh, uh, I have a 970. And everything like that i'll put a link up here to the is it right here yeah, i'll put a link right here to the build that i just did which is my amd ryzen uh 1600 system with the uh gigabyte 580 the gigabyte rx 580 video card in there I'm loving that system i still need to get some more ram man i still need to get a little bit more ram in there. i only have eight gigabytes i want to put at least 16 in there before i go really hard using that as like my system to do a lot of streaming and everything like that but i've used that all the streams that you've seen on this channel have come from that pc and that's playing you know graphic intensive games like ghost recon you know while streaming you know with other apps running in the background chrome and stuff and it's been a 
it's been amazing. I haven't noticed any kind of slowdown lag. Honestly, <laughs> I couldn't be more pleased with the system build. So that's why I'm thinking if we get something like, if we get these next level quality, like if you already have an 1800X, you're good. I don't think you need to upgrade anytime soon, unless you just have the money for it and that's what you're looking for. But to be able to get a core i9, like if you're just that determined to stick with Intel, you know, you just don't like any of, you You, you still don't want to deal with AMD and what they're doing. I mean, even the core i7 7800X is a six core, 12 thread for 389, 389, like, <laughs> I think it's a good time. I think it's a good time. Now, this is the thing that's pretty interesting. I want to see what Intel does about this. It seems like they're only showing on their higher end chips and that's like the, the core i9s to have 44 PCIe lanes. The other ones will have 28 and 16. Now, how that matters to you is it really comes in how you're going to configure your system. If you're planning to use SLI, if you're planning to use a lot of different uh, PCIe cards, whether it's a uh, audio card, whether it's a capture card, or using the NVMe drive, those things will are affected by how many PCIe lanes you have. So that's definitely something that we're gonna be looking at to see how that affects the market because that's coming to play too because I, I would hate to buy one of these chips, you buy two or three graphics cards, you buy a bunch of different onboard cards and you wanna to go to setting this up and you're not getting the full power that you need. Now the thing about that, AMD has unlocked all 44 PCIe lanes across Threadripper. So even from their 10 core, 20 thread chip, all the way up to the 16 core, 32 thread chip, all PCIe, PCIe lanes are unlocked. So that's something to definitely look out for. But I wanna know what you guys think. Will this be something that you're interested in? Is it out of your budget? Do you feel like, you know, with these, you know, you gotta think with these chips dropping, a lot of the budget chip, a lot of the budget chips might drop even a little lower. I mean, AMD has already started cutting the prices on some of their chips. I mean, this is a great time to get in and build a system of your dreams. So y'all leave me a comment and let me know what you think. What are you excited for? Does this does this do anything for you, or are you not even interested in it right now? All right. It's your boy Dookie. I'm going to get up out of here. Holla at your boy.